Hello Booktube! Welcome to Lizzie Pay Loves Books. I'm Elizabeth. And uh, for this video I thought I would show you finally the books and the bookish items that we got for Christmas. Now I've got a kitty here who seems to want to be on the video today. This is Sweetie. She, uh, if you ask Katie, she is not sweet. <laughs> Katie calls her rat, but uh, I think she's a pretty cool cat. Anyway, she's one of two calicos that we have and she is trying her best to jump up where the camera is. So. There, I put her on the floor and she's going on about her business. Anyway, um, we got several bookish things. The majority of these things I'm going to show you came from my mother-in-law, but there are a few other things that uh, might be of interest to you. So, uh, first let me show you, um, now I didn't really do a December book haul, but uh, during December I did show you a few books that I purchased during the month, which I tacked on to my book advent unwrappings. Uh, there was one other book that I ordered in December that I have received, and this is by my friend Jack Castle. It's Stranger Realm. This is the sequel to Stranger World, and he said in a Facebook post that he has created a story arc for 10 books. So this is book two. I think the book three is due out, I think he said in April, and um, so, anyway, I have not started the series yet. I have read, uh, I read Europa Journal, Bedlam Lost, and White Death. Then he had one more standalone called The Revenants that I'm going to read. Um, I'm just kind of read, reading all of his books in publication order because I figure if this is going to be a 10 book series, I want to get all the uh, standalones out of the way and then I can concentrate on the, um, the Stranger World. But he said that this is about basically a theme park gone wrong and so I'm excited to um, to to read it because I work in a theme park that's how I know Jack we are uh, old co-workers from way back so uh, I'm excited to uh, to have this and to read it this year all right so let me start on some of the things that my mother-in-law gave us um, I'll start with some of the books most of the books that she gave us were animal related. A few of these were in Katie's bag, but I'm just going to show them all to you because I'll probably be I will probably be the one who ends up reading most of these anyway. So, uh Cat Reads, get ready because there's some cat books coming. Here is Cat Letters to Santa. This is uh compiled and edited by Bill Adler, illustrated by Paul Bacon. And I haven't even looked in this. It's just kind of some little fun letters epistolary so emily sears here's a cat book that's epistolary and then a couple more animal books we have dogs and cats miscellany so this has just a miscellaneous uh, array of information about cats and dogs so there you go then here's a book I've already read. It's so funny because I just gave her a copy of Dewey and uh, it was a month or two ago and she's like, I think I have a copy of Dewey for you for Christmas. So it's fine. Um, I have, I've listened to this on audio. I may read it again one of these days, but it's just such a sweet story of uh, Dewey the library cat based on a true story. And then this one says, From uh, the, the True Tales of Baker and Taylor by Jan Louch and Lisa Rogak. The library cats who left their paw prints on a small town and the world. So, more library cats. And then I was excited to see this on uh, Amber's channel. Amber from Amber Eats Books. She, I think, bought a copy of this at a thrift store or a charity shop in December. So I think we're going to buddy read this next month. This is Kitty Cornered by Bob Tart. How Franny and five other incorrigible cats seized control of our house and made it their home. Well, I can identify with this and relate. We have seven cats and I am looking forward to reading this with Amber. I think this will be a lot of fun. And then, not cat related, I have The Teapots Are Out and Other Eccentric Tales from Ireland by John B. Keene. So, along that line, she also gave me a cup and saucer. This has bluebirds on it, and it's got a lid, as you can see, and an infuser. I have never had a teacup with an infuser built in. So I am super excited about this. Uh, 
quite a while back Acoste sent me some tea and I still have some of that and it's loose tea so I will definitely be using this cup to drink the rest of that tea then while I'm on objects instead of books <laughs> this is too cute she uh, gave me this Christmas ornament it is a reading Santa and look what Santa is reading 50 shades of red <laughs> isn't that hilarious oh isn't that so cute so I will probably not put this on the tree next year I will use him as a, a bookshelf Christmas decoration and then she also got me the uh, Book Lovers calendar for 2018. I have read a couple of them, but I wanted to not, like, uh, until I did this video, I didn't want to start ripping it off. But uh, it's basically every page is information about a book so that you basically get a book a day that you can learn about and um, see if you want to read that book. So that is exciting. And then <laughs> I've told you guys already that she gave us lots of puzzles. There was only one that was book related and it also has a cat in it. Isn't that cute? This one we did not use in our family puzzle-a-thon because it's only 750 pieces. We only used 1,000 piece puzzles for our puzzle-a-thon. And by the way, I had one piece that was missing when I finished mine and it was found when we uh, took a uh, put the Christmas tree out and um, and re uh, rearrange the furniture back to its um, the way it's supposed to be and uh, the piece that was missing was under a chair so uh, now I can take pictures of my puzzle I already took pictures of my husband's and uh, and I'll post those on Instagram I will do that so you can see our puzzles and then um, I got a couple of t-shirts the one I'm wearing not bookish but I'll show you anyway grumpy cat hilarious and this one is so cool she got this from out of print clothing I didn't even know she knew about out of print clothing and it's a technically a Harry Potter shirt because it's got a Hermione quote but I think she mainly got it because of the library quote it says when in doubt go to the library Hermione Granger so I love that I wore that last night to mystery book club and they noticed it immediately they're like what does your shirt say something about the library <laughs> so um then she got me one other thing but before I show you that let me uh show you something that my family got me now I had spotted this in uh books a million back before Christmas I have multiple copies of a Redbird Christmas and I mean in different editions but I had not seen this cover until let me see where did I put that um a couple months ago when I had Emily and St. Pete for a doctor visit I went to a Goodwill there and I found this book uh this edition of a Redbird Christmas and this has a dust jacket I had never seen this before it looks brand new uh I got it for three dollars in tax at um at Goodwill and so when I saw this I thought it was going to be the same and then I realized when I got closer this is a naked hardback there is no dust jacket so this is printed on it's got wonderful in papers the uh, the other one is just plain white and look at this signed copy so I'll show you right here it's got not only uh, is it signed it's got a uh, stamp this is from the desk of Fanny Flagg right yes and her signature so I am super excited I, I pointed this out to both Katie and Randy at different times when we were in books a million and so this was under the tree for me so I am super excited about that and then my sister sent me a couple of books she actually sent Randy a couple of books as well uh, she sent me two uh, this one she said can be for my next year's Christmas TBR his mistletoe family by Ruth Logan Hearn it is a large print love inspired I believe love inspired is uh, published by Harlequin and they are um, you know inspirational slash Christian romances and so this one is from the series men of Allegheny County <laughs> Emily's feeding the cats in case you can hear that uh, that noise so then she also got me a book I actually already have I have this whole series over here by Jeanette Oak um, and she said oh well, I kind of figured that but I just wanted to get you something that I knew you know that you would like but this is book seven in the love comes softly series and uh, I have read this whole series by Jeanette Oak I love it so much and um, 
I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this copy, but if you are interested in reading this series and you don't have this one, um, let me know. I might just send it to you. Uh, but uh, otherwise, I'll just hang on to it for now or I'll put it in a little free library or something like that. So anyway, um, the Jeanette Oak Love Comes Softly series is just wonderful. That was the first series that I ever read by Jeanette Oak, and I have since then read almost all of her series books. There are a few standalone books I still need to read, but she's just a fantastic Christian author, and I, I just really love her stories. So then my sister also got my husband a couple of books, and I'll show you those. Now, she got these all secondhand. I was so proud of her. I said, oh, it looks like you went bargain, uh, bargain book shopping, which is awesome. This is A River to Die For by Raiding Trees Naring. I have no idea anything about it. I don't know if it's fiction or non-fiction even. Let's see if I can tell. It says a 50-something to die for mystery. So it is a 50-something mystery. So maybe it's a cozy mystery. How fun is that? I may have to read that myself. And then she got him Louis Grizzard, Chili Dogs Always Bark at Night. <laughs> so that looks fun. Uh, Louis Grizzard is a, a comic writer. And um, isn't he a cartoonist, too? Am I thinking right? But this is not a graphic novel. So I may be getting my people mixed up. But uh, anyway, I know he's a comedian of sorts. And then, uh, also while I'm talking about stuff for my husband, my mother-in-law gave him this 101 Best Smoothies and Juices. And I don't know if this was for him or me, but we may both work on it. Bible Word, Ser Bible Word Search Large Print by uh, Brain Games. So that looks fun. And then she also gave me this Our Family Recipes. I will probably fix this for Katie because my mom did one of these for me where she wrote our favorite family recipes in it and passed it on to me. So I will probably start compiling some of our recipes that we make all the time into this book for Katie to have uh, in adulthood. Then let's see. Also from my mother-in-law, I believe this was from her. This might have been for Katie. I can't remember. The Secret Library, A Book Lover's Journey Through Curiosities of History by Oliver Teal. And I think this is a nonfiction book uh, about libraries and, and books and whatnot. I'm not really sure. I haven't looked at it, but it looks interesting. It's got a cutout on the dust jacket, so let's see what it looks like inside. Oh, neat. Uh, books. So that's fun. And then from my sister-in-law, I got a soft cover of Stars Above, which is exactly what I wanted. All of our other Lunar Chronicles books are soft cover, and I had been waiting for this one to come out. I'm still waiting for winter to come out. It's supposed to be due out in soft cover within the next couple months. So um, after that, we'll have all of them. And I have not read this one yet. I stopped with Fairest, and I still have not read Winter, and uh, because I'm waiting to get the the soft cover and and this one. So now that I have this, I may go back and um, because I'm trying to reread them all anyway. And uh, I think it was Trina from Between Chapters quite some time ago. She did a recommended reading order if you wanted to read these short stories intermingled with the other books what she thought would be the best reading order. Um, and so I would, you know, instead of reading this one cover to cover, you read a couple of stories before and after certain books. So I may do that since the only one I've reread so far is Cinder. I may uh, read these and then catch up to where, um, where she says then to read Scarlet and go from there. I don't know. I'll have to go back and revisit that video. I haven't watched it in a long time. So I'm excited about that. Uh, Katie also got some magnetic bookmarks, which I think she's going to give to me. And what else? Let's see if I missed any of these. Uh, I did get a couple of movies from my mother-in-law. Okay, this is deceiving. It says, um, you think it says Little House on the Prairie Collection, but in fine print, it, in smaller print, it says fans of Little House on the Prairie will love this collection. <laughs> so there's actually nine movies that are pioneer type movies and none of them are Little House on the Prairie, but that's fine. Uh, Seven Alone is on here. That is one of my favorite movies from a long time back, uh, as far as like a pioneer type movie. I don't recognize any of the other 
uh, names, but I am, I'm looking forward to watching this. I think this will be great. She also got me an adaptation of Hercule Poirot's Christmas. I haven't read this yet. I need to read this before I watch this. And so I'll probably put that on my next year's uh, Christmas TBR and then watch this after I read that. And then Katie and I were kind of doing last minute shopping and, um, you know, we were looking at the $5 bin and I was trying to, I was trying to find something for Emily, um, uh, in case you noticed a vibration, <laughs> sweetie just jumped over the camera again. Uh, anyway, I had not seen this in ages or I had not seen it in ages and, um, Katie had never seen it, and I said, you know, you could get this for your dad. I think he would like it, too, and then, you know, we'll watch it together. Well, she was kind of freaked out by the cover. She didn't really care for it. It's The Dark Crystal. Of course, it's uh, produced by the, uh, Jim Henson, and uh, I love this movie. I think it's great. So we, this is one of the things we watched while we were doing our puzzle-a-thon, but Katie had no interest in it at all. Um, but I, I just really enjoy it. It's, you know, it, it's a classic as far as puppetry and, and Jim Henson and, and uh, the creature shop and all of that. It's, it's really neat. So, I got everything. I showed you everything there. Oh, now I showed you my Redbird Christmas because that was supposed to lead up to something else. And then I forgot to show you the something else. So, if you remember Redbird Christmas, I got this uh, from my family. So, from my mother-in-law, who really doesn't... I don't even think she has any idea that Red Bird Christmas is my favorite book of all time. She got me a blanket that is basically Red Bird Christmas. Um, I think it's a blanket. It's got some fur here. It might be one of those robes, or maybe it's just fur on one side and and Red Bird's on the other side. But anyway, it's so soft, so pretty. I haven't even taken it out of the wrapping yet. I should have, because we just had a cold spell that I would have enjoyed it. But I was uh, saving it here where I could show it to you. And it's beautiful. It's so soft and so pretty. So let's see what else. I had a couple things. I've shown you that. Oh, when... um. When I was doing my Advent unwrappings, I did do a couple of little mini book hauls. One of those, and I'll link it below, uh, I showed you some books that I got at a thrift store. And I also did an unwrapping or an unboxing of a package that I got from one of my booktube friends named Carm. And today I was just kind of clearing out and, and straightening up here in my office. And I still had uh, the books he gave me, or the book he gave me in the box, which um, if you didn't see that video, it was The Grim Steeper and some Ray Lynch uh, CDs. So I noticed under those, there was a card that I had missed. And I want to show it to you. It's hilarious. It says, um, you can probably read it. It was just defrosted last year and they put in new gumdrops. It says, it's perfect. We'll take it. It's the Gingerbread House Hunters. How funny is that? And on the inside... It says, there's no place like home for the holidays. <laughs> and it's a gingerbread house. <laughs> it's so cute. So thank you, Karma, for the uh, awesome card. Thank you so much. And thank you again for the, uh, for the book and the CDs. They are awesome. And one more book I want to show you is actually something I got for Katie. And no, we don't have the first two yet, but I saw this on the shelf at Walmart. And she had mentioned that she kind of wanted to get these and collect them. So I just thought I'd go ahead and get the newest one. Of course, we've both read the series now. I finished it in 2017. But uh, if I ever do a reread, I will uh, look forward to doing it in these illustrated editions. So this is book three, The Prisoner of Azkaban, um, Harry Potter... Illustrated by Jim Kay, of course, by J.K. Rowling, and it's really cool. I'm sure you've all seen seen it, but it's super amazing. So, so yeah, and so Katie got this for Christmas. So that's about it as far as the bookish things. I'll probably run across another thing or two that I forgot. And if I do, if it's that big a deal, I'll show it in another video in my Friday Reads or something. Um, but that's about all of the bookish uh, books and bookish items that we got for Christmas. And uh, if you got any books or bookish items for Christmas and you don't do videos, tell me about them in the comments. I'd love to hear what you got for Christmas. Or if you gave any books for Christmas, I am always interested to uh, to hear about that too. So uh, speaking of giving books for Christmas, 
I am going to get back to my book sharing project. I still have all of these books and I had to end up just clearing off my dining table, stacking them up uh, just to get through Christmas. But I'm getting back into that project now and pulling them back out. I have to kind of resort everything and I'm, I'm still finding packages to... Um, to put them all in. So that is coming and I apologize to those of you who I told I was sending you something and you haven't received it yet. It's because I haven't mailed it. I am as slow as a turtle. So um, that's all I have for this video. I hope you're having a great day. I'll see you um, for my uh, next video. Probably that'll be Friday Reads, but I am still working on quite a few other videos which I will upload as soon as I get them done. So that's all I have for this one. I hope you're having a great day. Read a good book and God bless you.